As the world marks the World Cancer Day for the first time, the northeastern region has launched a cancer facility in Garissa that will serve all the neighboring counties. The CS for Health, Susan Wafula, urged the county governments to take a lead role in creating awareness on cancer. The CS regretted that late diagnoses have resulted in poor treatment outcomes and low survival rates. Yusuf Mahat with more. It is a sigh of relief for cancer patients in northeastern region as they can now seek all cancer services including screening, diagnosis, surveillance, treatment and palliative care at the Garissa Cancer Care Facility. Residents of the region have for a long time traveled for long distances, some going as far as India to access treatment. The prevalence rate in the region remains high with post-rate esophageal and colon cancers the leading in the region while breast and cervical cancer are the most common among women. The most prevalent cancers continue to be breast cancer at 15.9%, cervical cancer at 13.3% and esophageal at 11.8%. Prostate cancer accounts for a quarter of all cases among our men with breast and cervical cancer accounting for more than half of the cases among our women. In Machakos County, at least 465 patients were diagnosed with cancer, something that was attributed by the rampant pollution of River Athi, whose heavily contaminated water has been a major source of domestic use among the nearby families. Prevention, prevention is my number one priority, even as I ensure those diagnosed with cancer get the care, the care and treatment they need. In Taita Taveta, construction of a new cancer facility kicked off and it is expected to quench the thirst of cancer patients in the area who were initially seeking services in Mombasa County. Lakini kwa sasa hivi, ukifika na itambulike mapema, utapata matibabu na utaendelea kuishi na jamaa. Kwa hivyo tunahimizana hasa kina mama tuenende kupata uchunguzi kila mwaka vile waziri wa afya ameeleza. The burden of cancer has been rising over the past few decades and it is projected that by 2030 more than 13 million deaths annually will be due to cancer with 75% of all deaths occurring in low and middle income countries. Yusuf Mahat Abdi and TV Garrison.